hello guys did i ever tell you that neutron stars are the powerful thing in the universe well what are neutron stars anyway so this is sam it and and today we're gonna tell you what are neutron stars and and what are magnetron stars and which is powerful so yeah, so today we're going to be talking about neutron stars versus magnetron stars. <laughs> so, what are neutron stars anyway? So, neutron stars are like at the, at, the, at the end of a star's life, any star's life. Yeah, so first, like any star, the, a star will always become bigger. Then, it will become very smaller than our sun, of course. Then, it will just have the end of its life. Yeah. So, oh, so you see, like any star, it uh, uh, just like our sun. Our sun will become a red giant, no matter if it is a, even if the star is already a red giant. Then though, though it'll be, you know, like though it'll become bigger, like yeah, a red giant. Or else maybe it can just stay, but surely it'll become bigger, even if it's the only type of star. I mean the biggest star. Then you see, after that, it will have more gravity. But then once you become smaller into a neutron star, then it will have even more gravity. You see, this is, so, this is what will happen. Just like, see, maybe this will be similar to black holes, kind of. At the end of its star's life, only it has the most gravity. Like that, at neutron star's life, only it will have most gravity. But don't think too fast, our sun will not become a black hole, you know, for, because it doesn't have so much mass. So, isn't it? So, but neutron stars are also gravitational, very gravity. But not like a black hole, but still, it's very much gravity and very much mass. What if you just put just a spoon of a neutron star and a spoon of sun? Maybe the neutron star wouldn't affect much. It will not affect really anything. Except maybe it will just destroy your tables. Somehow. So let me just tell you. Our sun is just a ball of gases, you know. It's just a ball of gases. But a neutron star also has more mass. Yeah. Than just gases, you know. So if you lift it, you're not able to. But for the, but to lift the, the sun thingy, then it will be so easy. And do you know what? If you want to lift it, your neutron star will probably just break your spoon, probably, once you reach Earth. And also break your table house. A little bit, I mean. Yeah, so, let's just leave, leave neutron stars the way it is. Yeah. And now, what are magnetars? Magnetars are even powerful than a neutron star. They're turning... They turn your atoms into dust. Like the Avengers, you know, like in the Avengers, you know, Infinity War. Like that's how their atoms become into dust. Like they all become into dust. Just like that. Yeah. So, you see, if you go turn their atoms into dust. So, if it does that, then you see, once it turns your, your atoms into dust, First, there are two ways maybe you it'll turn your atoms into dust. First is something like first maybe you can go to go. So don't even drive in transportation one hundred one thousand miles closer, or else that that's what will happen. I mean maybe just not that will happen because sometimes even Earth's it'll be its gravity is so strong that even its gravity will pull it. To and it has tremendous, um, and, and of course the earth will just get evaporated. So, you see, and there's another way. It's something almost like a quasar, except it's not to pull anything. Except, if it, if it like strikes on earth, then that is what will problem. So, and the and scientists have already find a magnetar out of our solar system. So let's just leave 
magnet stars where they are. But what about neutron stars versus magnetron stars? We didn't talk about that. See, magnetars, and also forgot something. Magnetars have also more magnetic field, and it can destroy our magnetic field. Yeah, it can just destroy our, our magnetic field. And without magnetic field, no atmosphere. And without no atmosphere, comets will, and asteroids will come. And without it also, the sun harmful UV rays will hit on us. Without the ozone layer. So, and that's a, what about magnetars versus neutron star this time. So, you see, magnetars can, you see, magnetars and neutron stars are a little same. Except it does take in more mass. Yeah, it does take in more mass. And magnetron stars will end their life as neutron stars. That's surprising, isn't it? So, so probably magnetron stars will be because neutron stars only put gravity, but they can also put, but they can also make our atoms, you know, stretch apart. So if you like my channel, please with the like button. So if you want to subscribe, please press the subscribe button. And don't forget to press the token. Bye!